Minasan Konnichiwa, this is David. And, Mina. and this evening we are unboxing the Gundam The Origin, the Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, um, Shars Zaku 2. So pretty. Yeah, this one's one I've been excited for. Um, I've heard some people griping that it's just another Zaku, but there's no such thing as just, just another, another Zaku. Zaku. <laughs> um, this is, to me, like just looking at it, this is not a cash grab. This is a really beautiful kit. It is all new. Uh, it is lovely. And it's definitely an evolution of the form. You'll notice we have like our ammo on the um, the shoulder piece there. Um, it's really nice and detailed. His weaponry is much bigger. Um, it's not quite the detail level of say the Thunderbolt Zaku, but it is really lovely. All right, so, oh, also, if you're unfamiliar, um, right now you get a beautiful Shar Zaku clear file. Um, if you um, purchase it from certain retailers, so if you're gonna pick it up, check out and see if you can get that. This is really, it's really, really nice clear file. Um, and I love me some clear files. Yeah, and as of today, Bandai is doing a promotion where they give you a decal set of, of one of four you get to choose. Um, and this one, of course, is from Double O Gundam, which is my favorite series, um, and it's got all kinds of pretty stuff on it, including teddy bears. Uh, for the Human Reform League. So, that's Only that. Only in Japan. Um, no, actually. I believe you can get those uh, from high... Um, high uh, sorry. <clears throat> high volume retailers all over. Okay. Um, so, like, Hobby Link might have them. Um, there's there's a few there's a few retailers that should be able to carry them. I, I don't know what all the details are. But in Japan, you just get them at the retailers. Okay. So... Here's our first runner bag. First thing I'm going to point out, it has decals. It is an HG kit that has really pretty decals. That's, that's nice. not that's not common, and it's pretty awesome. Um, so you've got a lot of detailing here. This is a 34 piece decal uh, set. Um, so this is going to give you a really really nice looking Zaku. The color. Oh, we were actually we had this discussion with um, Renato. Um, there was a promotional version that was painted. It, the color wasn't that great. This color is phenomenal. This yeah. is a really great color. This is Sharzaku. Yeah, it's like a cranberry. Um, it's got just a hint of brown in it. Um, it is it is definitely definitely a great color. And we have our huge ass weapon kits including this giant rifle. Um, we have our um, bazooka type weapon. And we have a couple of axes, a number of hands. <clears throat> Next up, we have our shoulder pieces, our hands, our heads, our shoulders. One thing that I will note that um, we were discussing um, online a bit is, is that the shoulder piece, the, the, the central spike is split into two pieces. That is a, um, that is in my opinion, a huge like misstep on Bandai's part. It However, the same way on the Zaku Amazing, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It's annoying. Now, the one thing that I do like though is that the part that actually, like this part right here, has the bulk of the spike on it, and the seam is actually on the seam on the spike. Mm. Um, so that's going to make it look a lot better, and it's going to make it have a very organic looking tip. You won't have to fuse that. Um, we'll find out what that actually looks like, but I think that that is um, Bandai acknowledging that that method of putting the shoulder together is kind of shitty. <laughs> Um, so that's a really great compromise. Now here is our dark gray. Um, this is a little bit different looking, uh, but it is um, nice color, nice sheen to it. Now this is our other red. This is a deep, dark, sexy shade of red here. I don't yeah. know how well you can see it on the camera, but it is it is a great color. 
Very Char. Perfect. And then here we have more frame pieces. We have our tubing here. This is very much like the, the ones in the Thunderbolt kits. Uh, it is malleable, so you can bend it in a couple places in order to fit it really nicely, real snug. The uh, Amazing has that too. Yeah, yeah. And then here's our foot and our chest piece here. And then we have, oh, polycaps. These are polycaps. And we have a couple more dark red pieces, backpack. Um, I don't quite know what those are offhand, actually. A surprise! Yeah. And we, let's see, we have, oh, we, sticker pieces. These are mono-eye stickers, uh, for the most part. Uh, and probably, oh yeah, okay, mono-eye and um, scope. And the mono eye is a sort of dull pinkish, which is nice. We have a, an ad for the new Gundam Revive line of kits. Um, this specifically is advertising the RX-78 II, but I know there is a gun cannon coming out. And today was just announced the Destiny of all... Or no, sorry, not the Destiny, the Freedom. Um, the Freedom is getting one of these. Oh, yeah. there's our gun cannon. The, re the Revive... Um, line is what the stickers are connected to. Oh, okay. So if you're looking for the campaign, you want to read more about it and see where you can find it, it is tied to the Revive line. Oh, okay. But yeah, these Revive kits actually look really nice. Um, I just saw the um, the Freedom today. Somebody was asking us about wanting to do an RX-78 or whatever, and they were asking which one. Oh yeah, that would be a good one to start yeah, with. Um, it's out next month, I believe. So if that was you, this is it. Is it? Um, yeah, or no, 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 it's actually June, um, but it'll be out in June. Okay, and here's our booklet. Ooh, nice and colorful. This, it looks like a pretty simple build, um, very modern. Um, this is an updated kit. This is a real recent thing. This is not a rehash of an old one. And... Yeah, it is It is a Zaku, uh, and it's got tons of little gimmicks and features. This is the Zaku of the future. Of so, the past. But of the past, right. yes. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting this together. We'll be doing a review uh, probably this evening because I'm very, very excited for this. I know we have a lot of new entries for the... For the contest. For the contest. I'll be getting them up on the WordPress sometime this weekend. Oh, great, great, great. So we have um, we have about three weeks left um, on that. Um, if you are if you are really, really close to the middle of May on that, that's fine. Um, like if you need to push it back a little bit, that's fine. I'm not going to hold too hard, uh, hard to deadlines because I know it's a little difficult um, getting imports and things like that. Um, but, you know, I'm going to shoot for probably the middle middle of May. Uh, we'll announce that we're closing entries. So if you haven't done it and you are interested, you still have plenty of time, go ahead and throw something together. We would love to have you. Yes. All right. So um, expect a review soon. Matane, everyone. Matane.